Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I'm Gary and Raver. This time I'm showing you Ray's minimap in more depth. So, first of all, I have got these. They are called waypoints. And they allow you to see a point from any distance. They tell you the distance and a personalised name. And they have a little colour here. And the default button for creating a waypoint is C. You press C and it brings up this box, Waypoint Edit. And you type in a name. And then you can choose the color and it tells you the coordinates. So then you click OK. And it creates the waypoint. And it creates it at about head height. And it shows you the distance, including decimals. The next thing you can do is press X to bring up a large map. And this is just an overlay, so you can still move around and do everything normally while this is here. And it shows you waypoints and their names, and it shows you an overview of the area, as well as, if you look closely where the little moving arrow is, it shows you your coordinates below. And this is just a large version of the minimap, so you can see clearly. You can also press Z while on the large map to zoom in. So it zooms in all the way to times 8 and then back out. And the same will happen on your little minimap in the corner, as you can see. If you press M, it brings up the menu. And it shows the raised minimap there, as well as the version number and the type of Minecraft it runs. Note that when you bring up the menu on single player, it pauses the game. For the options, you can enable or disable the minimap you can choose the render type so it alternates between the surface which is a top-down view biome which obviously shows you the biome and any caves so the lightness on here varies depending on the height of the land so this lighter mass here is that mountain death point which is an enabled disabled swap is an automatic waypoint when you die so that you can easily find your stuff again. Then we have options. So the first one is minimap options and it brings up this and you can alternate between having a round or square minimap and you can alternate between Xan and Ray textures. You can also choose the map position the upper right, lower right, upper left or lower left as well as the scale of the map so there's auto, small, normal, large, larger, and one that matches your GUI. You can also choose the opacity of it from 100%, 25, 50, or 75. These three options affect the large map, as I've already shown you. So you can choose the scale, the opacity, and whether the names of the waypoint show up on it or not. Filtering is how clear the image is. So as you can see, there are all these dots. Turn it off, and the dots are very clear. As you can see, below the map, we have coordinates, which you can change between type 1, type 2, and off. Type 1 is just the x, y, and vertical coordinates. Type 2 is x, y, and vertical, but with decimals. These numbers are measured at your head height. So although the head is at 71.62, you are counted as standing on 70. You can also have it completely off. This one allows you to enable or disable the menu key to show there, so you don't forget it. Font scale chooses the size of the coordinates font from auto, small, normal, large, or GUI scale. This affects the default zoom of your minimap, which will be decided when you log on. Between times 1, times 1 1.5, 2, 4, 8, or 0 0.5. Next you have surface map options, and these affect the way it shows on the surface. So you can have dynamic lighting, which changes according to the time of day. You can have it always set to day, always set to night, or off completely. You can choose between two lighting types, which don't have much difference between them. Terrain undulate determines whether height differences are shown. Terrain depth 
changes slightly depending on how low down the terrain is. Transparency affects whether certain things such as these flowers show up or not. Environment colour affects whether the biome alters the colour of such things as the grass. Hide snow allows you to choose whether you show snow on the minimap at all. And these two are very useful because they can show the chunk grids, just in case you need to be aware of that. And it'll also show any chunks that slimes spawn in. And then there are the entities radar options. And if you go into this, it allows you to see where things are. So it can be turned on and off. And the options are players, which is currently pointless in single player. Animals, such as polar bears, sheep, cows. Monsters, which are any hostile mobs. Slimes, as they are special ones. Squid. Other living, which are things like wisps. Where lightning strikes and also the direction in which they are facing. So, you have to exit the menu to cause them to appear. So as you can see on the minimap, these white dots are animals. Over here, you can see some faint red ones because the opacity of the dot is affected by the height difference. So here, this one is slightly greyed out because he's lower but if I get to the same level as him, it becomes clearer. In the same way, these red dots that are all over the minimap are quite faint because they're deep underground. This green one is for a fish because it's classified as an other living and not an animal. Show direction shows in which direction they're facing, as you can see here. Next are marker options, which affect waypoints, so you can choose whether the waypoints show up at all or not, whether there is the little coloured dot, whether there's the name, and whether there is the distance. Then there's About Minimap, which shows the version, the author, and links to the forums. You can also customise the keys you press, and the green ones are the default keys, which can be returned by clicking default there. And to change them, you just click that, and then choose the new one, as you normally would in Minecraft. And to save it, you click OK, and it'll say there, key config saved. Finally, you can choose waypoints, and this brings up this little box, and allows you to affect which waypoints are visible, shows their individual colors and their names, and if you hover over them, the coordinates. Allows you to add new ones, bringing you to the waypoint edit menu. Allows you to remove them, and you do so by clicking remove and as you can see they all say keep so you choose one and that won't be kept and if you click remove that waypoint is gone if you've been to the nether end or any other age and saved waypoints you will be able to cycle through here to see them thank you for watching if you have any requests please send me a youtube comment and i shall endeavor to take a crack at it also if you have any requests not to do with the technic pack please let me know Catch you later.